Pennywise. <sighs> okay. I just it just takes a few seconds here on Facebook. So I just went live on Instagram and I'm going to try this here too. So I kind of have been doing this morning show thing in stories. And so I know it's been, it gets pushed to Facebook as well. So I'm going to answer some questions here to this morning and then I'm going to share my thrifting haul. So um, let me know if you're here and um, if you have any questions, put them, you know, in the comments as I'm doing this. Um, I don't have any links, but I can, if there's any links to anything I'm talking about that you want, just let me know and I can add them to, to the comments or to the description when I get off of here. So <clears throat> I'm just getting, some of the questions came from Facebook and Instagram. So that's why I'm doing it live on both this morning. And I don't know if this is how it's going to look. I thought maybe what I'll do is the normal morning, you know, in stories and then maybe do, you know, kind of keep questions for the week or do more question boxes and then answer them live on Friday. We'll see. We'll see. Next week's going to look a little different because it's um, spring break for my kids. And so I kind of want to um, kind of, you know, be with them. But in the mornings, they'll be slow. And so we're not going anywhere. But um, so we'll see how next week looks. It might look a little different, but but then we'll be back to normal for sure the following week. But I I'm not I'm not going anywhere. I'll still be here. So um, we did not get any snow. We were supposed to get snow. Thursday and then as the week kind of yesterday I think we were supposed to get snow as the week kind of went on they kept pushing it away pushing it away and we didn't get any so thank goodness it's cold though here still in Iowa like 24 today is the high oh it's cold okay so first of all um first of all I'm going to answer somebody asked if we're having a spring sale so we that's for some people that are local um, we usually have two sales a year because I'm always purging, organizing, redecorating something. And so I always get rid of things. And so we always have a big sale. We have not decided about the spring sale yet. We don't know if we would do it as early as we normally have, um, but we have not decided yet. So if you are on the email list, that's just a local thing. Um, if you are on the email list, I will be emailing out when and if we do that. So definitely be watching for that. Okay. So the next question is, what is my favorite scent for the Wise Owl Sab that I share all the time? You guys, please get this. Please, I can leave a link to it. Please get this in your life. I use this stuff. It's so wonderful. And to be completely honest, when I first started sharing it, when I first opened it the first time, and on a whim, um, I got the, I'm, I'm looking at the all the scents here. Where is it? Okay. I think the first time I got it, I got teakwood and amber and then tobacco flower. Those are hands down my two favorite scents. Um, and so what I would say, they have a ton of scents here. I'm looking at them. What I would say is if, when you're picking out a scent, I, I don't think you'd go wrong. I mean, there are some unscented as well. Is go with the scents that you like for like candles or um, hand lotion or just like those kinds of things. Just go with that scent. I don't. I, it doesn't keep the scent forever. But when I open it, I think it was tobacco flower. Um, I just, I wanted to like put it on me. I just love the scent. So I'm somebody that loves a clean scent, kind of a woodsy scent. I think men's deodorant smells better than women's deodorant. I don't want a lot of flowery, um, f you know, like florals or really sweet or like caramel apple in the house. I don't want any like food scents. So that's kind of where I am. And so when I see the words like teakwood, amber, tobacco, um, bergamot like those kinds of things those are kind of where I stay but I have heard great things about the lemon and I love lemon in our kitchen so you couldn't go wrong with with lemon um there's there's many good scents but those are my two favorites so far but I have not tried them all either so um I just I just love those okay so somebody asked my workspace is in our garage do you bring piece, pieces inside to paint I can't keep them clean so <clears throat> So yes, I bring pieces into our house all the time to work on because we live in Iowa and half the year I cannot paint outside. I can't paint, I can't stain, nothing. It's just too cold. So a lot of times I have painted in our living room. I've painted here in our kitchen. I have painted in my office where I, where I norm normally do it now. We have a back room, kind of like a laundry room where I painted. So definitely, yes, I if I can work outside, that's where I want to work because then it's just... 
I don't like a lot of mess and like clutter. And we don't have big, huge spaces here in our home, which goes to tell you, you don't need a fancy workshop to make it happen. You don't need a huge home and an empty room. Like you just make it happen and it, and, and it works. Um, but I will suggest, so when I have worked outside and if I'm painting a lot, just the wind, even if it's not like fall and there's a lot of things blowing around, the wind or even in the garage, it can get dusty and dirty. So if you can invest in like a, a spray tent, uh, and again, I can, if you want to link message me, I can get one for you. I have a spray tent and I used it more for when I was just painting outside than if I was like actually spraying a piece of furniture, if that makes sense. Because if there's any wind at all, that spray tent, it protects your piece and nothing's going to get in and stick to your paint. Does that make sense? So a spray tent is a good thing if you, if you want to do most of your stuff outside. Okay, somebody asked, what does Matt do for a job? So he is an assistant superintendent of recreation for a city that we don't live in. He drives about 45 minutes away. So it's not actually where we live, but that's what he does. This is a kind of a new role where he is and his job is just kind of changing, but he's been where he's been like for over 20 years. So that's what he does. Next question is, I bought a bench off Facebook Marketplace and it chips. What can I put on it to seal it? So we have these kinds of questions I get a lot and a lot of times I miss them. Um, so if you have specific questions, we have actually put together like a form where you can submit your question and I won't miss it at all. It'll come right to me. I can actually, you can send photos so I can actually see what it is. Cause sometimes, so like this says, I bought a bench off Facebook marketplace and it chips. So we bought, um, a good ex example of this is I bought a huge barn door um, and we actually use it as our headboard for years. I, I have pictures of that on the website, but um, when we first got it, it was chipping to perfection. Like, right, it was, but I didn't want all of that coming onto the bed. So what I did, and this just depends on how, what your bench looks like. Is it painted all the way? Is it chipping a little bit, a lot of bit, but um, a lot of bit. We're gonna, Let's coin that phrase right now. <laughs> I say that all the time, a little bit, a lot of it. Okay, so anyway, so I actually took a paint scraper and I went over the entire barn door with it um, just to get those huge chunks that were gonna fall off like it was inevitable, like they were just gonna fall off. And then I did sand it. Um, I said on Instagram, I don't know if I sanded it. And I I'd sanded it not like a real hard you know, sandpaper. It was probably a 220, just to kind of smooth out the edges. Um, and it still left, it still looked like a chippy barn door, but then I put a couple coats of a, a matte top coat over it, a few coats. I like the matte because for pieces like that, I want it to still look authentic and not super shiny or like it's got a sheen on it because if you're picking up an old barn door um, or a chippy bench, it's not gonna have a lot of sheen, right? So <clears throat> that's what I used and it worked great. We had that on our, as our headboard for years. Um. If I took the furniture flipping course, is that the same as the planner? So um, I have kind of two questions. And is the planner just for flippers, furniture flippers? So recently we have just launched our monthly social media planner. Um, that is something that we provide to anybody inside the creative squad, which is my private group. Um, but we are now offering it to anybody. And so if you took the furniture flipping course, it is not the same thing as the planner. That this is, these are two totally separate things. Um, so, so it's not the same. And is it just for flippers? So social media, I, I, I wanna encourage anybody that's thinking about it, I don't care what you're doing, to do it. It may seem like a beast in the beginning, and, um, but if you have the right tools, it's not. But this is where everybody's living. Like let's just, it's, it's something you have to have in your business. So. Um, it's, we do have, uh, the planner does have some prompts for furniture flipping, but it's not the whole thing. And any prompt that is for furniture flippers can easily be, you know, changed around for any niche, if that makes sense. Like you can, you can take the prompt and just do it. For me, I've been doing this for how many years? Sometimes social media, you know, you need to be consistent. You need to be on a posting schedule. You need to be like doing all these things. And sometimes you're just like, what do I post? Like, I just can't even... I can't even think like 
honestly what to post. And that still happens to me today because you're posting so often and you just, sometimes you just don't have it. So this planner does all the work for you. Like you don't even have to think about it. You can just copy and paste if you want to. And we made templates inside of there for you. So we've got carousel posts, we've got regular posts, we've got story posts, all the templates are there for you. Literally, you can take a prompt, copy it, put it into the template, put a color in there or leave as is, whatever. I mean, whatever you wanted to do and it's done for you and you could get it done in mo a month ahead of time. Like, and that's like a dream. I tried to get that all, all of my social media, especially on Facebook scheduled weeks in advance, weeks in advance. So if you can get it done for a full month, so we want to do all the work for you. So, so with, so is it just for flippers? There are some furniture flipping prompts in there, but the other half isn't. And then everything else in the planner is not for just for furniture flipping, if that makes sense. So the calendar that's in there, the tracker, which I still love and use today, that thing, that tracker, when you think like you're not moving at all, or there's nobody here, if you've, if you're using that tracker, you could, you will actually see your growth. You will actually see it. Like the numbers are actually there. So it's just like one of those tools that I saved me, especially in the beginning. It saved me in the beginning. So, um, so yes and no, but it could be, like I said, it can be totally, uh, changed for any niche. Do it. If you've been thinking about starting a social media channel, do it, start with one. Um, I'd love to help you. So, um, like I said, if that's something you want to know more information about, I won't like dive any more, any more into it here. Just let me know, message me, leave a message here in the comments and I'll get to it. Okay. Now let's get to the thrifting haul. So, um, what did I, first of all, let's start here. I found another whole bunch you guys of eucalyptus stems and we are, I haven't done anything in the back porch yet. Um, since like the holidays and then like the mantle in our living room, that faux mantle that I got for $2.99. Have you guys been here long enough to remember that? $2.99. Anyway, I haven't really done anything yet. So I was looking for some more greenery. And so I scored these. I love, I said, um, somebody messaged me and I can't remember if it was here or on, in, or on yeah, Instagram. They said that they've been thrifting for a while but that they never, until they saw me say, look in this area. They have never like looked in that area. They walked right past it. And now she's been like, I think she's doing like, she's found so much stuff, wreaths and things that she can put together. And um, so do not pass this. There's usually a little area, but these were not in that area. Somebody had picked them up and then dropped them off in the dishes. That's where I found these. So um, Look through your wreaths, the greenery, the stems, all of that. Always, always, always look through there all year round. These are my faves. I just love these things. These old brass bells. Um, there were two little things. I always pick these up. I forgot to answer a question. I'm thinking now. I forgot to answer a question. Um, somebody asked about my Instagram shop and was it... Was it hard opening a shop on Instagram? How does it work? Transactions, what what works? Pricing. Um, I am actually writing a blog post about that and it should be out next week. And so it, I'm, I'm gonna dive deeper into it there. But um, so like, I, I'll let you know when that's live, if that's something you've thought about. Uh, I kind of answered that more. If you're watching, if you follow me on Instagram, I kind of went dove into that a little bit more because I think it was an Instagram question. Um, I did that over on the Instagram live. So you can check that out there, but I will have a blog post and I'll kind of go through that um, next week. So these, I picked up a couple of things that I kind of want to um, do like a styled thing with it. So I grabbed this, um, the other things. I'll, sh I'll share the other thing here, but this is right near me. Look at this thing you got. Oh, uh, so it's got all the little cups in here, but they don't feel like drinking cups. To me, the first thing I saw was, you know, obviously succulents, plants, um, you know, flowers in this. Uh, it would be fun to do with the kids. Like I said, we used to do grass like every summer, right? Like we'd grow that because that's the quickest thing for them to like learn and see it. Um, but it, since you could see the dirt and everything, um, this would be a fun thing to do that with. But you could take these out definitely and put terracotta, um, sorry, that terracotta pots in here. You could do um, like brown paper, craft paper, what am I saying? Cones inside here too, like smaller ones. That would be really cute. So many things you could do with it, but 
The patina was cute. I love the way these look. I don't want to do this without um, the little baskets look. So you, you can do so much with this. And again, it's something you could use all year round. This looks like ironstone to me. It is not marked. Um, and so one thing I want to say, because this it happened with this. I, when I first saw this, I picked it up immediately. And then I went around the entire store and I looked for a, 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 a match. Um, because something like this, you would think there would be a pair. And there probably was at one time. And if you are shopping in a thrift store, nothing's going to be where it should be. So if you find something that you think should be a pair, candlesticks, you know, mugs, like, you know, you've got, you've got seven of them there. There should be an eighth one or whatever. Plates, dishes, look around the entire store because either somebody picked it up and put it there or the workers, you know, they got it out of a second box and just didn't remember or somebody else did it. Um, so I went all throughout the store hoping I could find another one of these, but I didn't, but definitely look for sure. Okay, I grabbed this because I think I want to do a little makeover to this. Um, I was actually going to get it last night. I love finding things like this that are kind of new and they're in it. My hair is caught and they're inexpensive because it instantly brings the family together. So um, like I said, the Scrabble tiles that I do all the time, but this it's so easy. Set it on the table um, wherever your family usually walks through and it's like an instant game. Um, the kids, it doesn't take long, uh, but I thought I would give it a little makeover. So we'll see. Um, I'll share that live if I do it. I still want to do that map. I talked about it in stories this week, but um, I have a dress. I'm working on a dresser down in my office, and so it's chaotic down there. And so it's hard for me to do a live, like do a project right now. I'm hoping to get that done this weekend. Okay, here is another thing that's kind of like a pair. And if you guys saw my live last week, it actually happened while I was live in the thrift store. I had found a cool old frame and it, um, so I was like, look at this frame and the, the picture was old. I can't even remember what it is. I'd have to look on there. All of my lives are still on the Facebook page. And then I went down like a different aisle and I found the pair. So always look. So like this, these, I love botanicals. I love them so much. Um, these were together. So this wasn't, you know, but if you found one, usually with these, anytime I find a botanical, I usually find more than one. Um, I know that's weird, but I just, so always look around and frames like in our stores, there's definitely a frame area or a picture area, but yet they hang them on the end caps or they'll hang them on the side, like as decorations. So just keep your eyes peeled and the patina, like on these old black frames, um, I love them. And I was kind of showing in Instagram. I just cannot tell. I cannot tell if those are written on at the bottom. You see how that one's like right underneath or if that's printed. This one is like off to the side and not straight. I kind of want to, you can take this pink mat out definitely if you didn't like it. Um, I love the old, the black frames. Let me just see something. Um, but anyway, and then I was kind of saying on Instagram, this makes me so mad. Tell me if you guys know what I'm talking about. Anytime you find an old picture, an old mirror, an old, um, anything like that's in an old frame, why do people, and I'm talking about like, I don't, it could be some of the workers, but I know people that are shopping there do this. It's like, they just cannot wait to break through this paper. They didn't get to this one. They got to this one break through the paper. And like, usually these are all pulled out. Like there's only one left. It's like, they're looking for, I don't know, lost money. I said on Instagram, the declaration of independence. It's like, if you're so you just buy them, take them home and destroy them. And then, but leave them intact for people that are gonna, you know, use them as is. Now I say that, <clears throat> but I also would want to encourage you if you're at a thrift store, because this is how you decorate without spending a lot of money. You love the look of old botanicals, which I do. I, this would not go in our house. So I would have to take these apart to get this mat out and see what's left. Like, see if, um, like, does this fill the whole thing? Do I have to get a different mat? Um, but definitely, so do that too, but yet don't just go in there and just tear it apart just to find the declaration of independence to, um, and then just leave it there. Cause you didn't find it. So, so it's kind of a, 
I, it just, I just don't understand it. And sometimes they just leave the backs like not great. And then, or sometimes all of these nails are out and then you don't have the back piece or like it's, you know, it's like, ugh. So anyway, I found a pair of botanicals <laughs> that are really, really cool. Um, some of these items are going to be on the shop page, which is on Instagram. It's Instagram. It's just at my creative day shop. I do launch it every Wednesday at noon CST, but I am not sure. I can't tell you yes or no yet if I'm going to be doing that next week during spring break. So it might be two weeks from now, but there are still some amazing things in the shop. I just launched on Wednesday. Um, this galvanized like floral plant hanging planter thing. <laughs> The patina is perfection. I have ironstone on there right now. Um, are those? There's some other things from past launches. You kind of have to go through there. If there's not a sold underneath the picture, um, then it's still available. But there's still some great things available. So it's not like there's nothing in there for next week. There's def definitely is. And if you haven't checked this week, um, go back and check it out. But okay, that's all. It, did I share everything? That's all I had for the thrift finds this week. Oh, so it's spring cleaning time, right? And so I think head to your thrift stores because they're gonna be packed with stuff. People are getting rid of stuff left and right. I feel like at where we are, you guys always think that I find all the stuff, right? Some great stuff, and I do. I'm not saying that I don't, but I feel like our stores are not very full right now. And so I don't know if people are waiting to maybe have yard sales or things, um, estate sales or something as we are going into spring, which is great because I'm hoping those are back to normal this year. Um, but definitely start heading to your thrift stores, especially not like next week into, like, yeah, next week through the end of March, people are cleaning things out and dropping things off. So definitely make sure you head there. <clears throat> okay, does anybody have any other questions? Um, do I need to, I mean, Marsha, I enjoy listening to you and watching you, the thrift. I have learned a lot and I sell on Marketplace. Marsha, do you do furniture pieces or are you doing other things? Okay, Megan is saying watered down wood glue glues the paint back down. You could try that. Does that leave a sheen? Megan, I've never tried that. Does that leave kind of like a, when I say sheen, like is it shiny at all? That's why I like just, you know, you can get like the, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, is it called shellac? I, it's, I wanted to say polyurethane and it's not that. Um, to put on top, love lavender and lemon together. Gabrielle loves lavender. Hello, Peggy, I'm glad you're here. Tobacco, yeah, Jennifer. <laughs> I just love those scents. It's like, but sometimes those things can go wrong. Like you think, oh, it's teak wood and whatever, bergamot. And, and then you open like it's a candle or something. You're like, what, what happened? What happened? Oh my gosh, Barb, where are you? Snow blizzard and minus 42. I am so sorry. Oh. Waiting on snow here in Southern Indiana. Janet, I think as the, um, we were supposed to get a lot of snow on Thursday. And then as the week went, um, on, they kept pushing it south, south, south. And then, like I said, where we are, we didn't get any. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Thank you. Is it Nina or Nina? Thank you so much. Okay, now I'm going to go back down. I just like to make sure if there's somebody here that says... I sell small items. I refinished an old desk before that. I sold, yes, yes, those are fun. So you sell, Marsha, oh, do you, uh, and are you shipping? Are you shipping items then from Facebook? I sometimes forget Facebook Marketplace is now kind of, like you can ship and it can be, um, Megan, it leaves a little bit of sheen. Okay, that's good to know. I buy a lot of old candlesticks and paint and distress them. Wood candlesticks, they are like so good, so good. <clears throat> I feel like I used to find a ton of stuff in the candlestick area, but I haven't found anything in a long time. Polycrylic, is that what I'm thinking of? Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Annie's, it's Annie's cottage. I'm wondering if that's what I'm thinking of. Would that leave a sheen though? 
And if you're fine with sheen and like if you're fine with a like a satin or um, what am I like a semi gloss kind of sheen, go for it. Rebecca, enjoy seeing your thrift finds. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of people love that. I would love to only ship a few items, mostly just do a public meetup with people. Okay, that's great. Yes, the thrifting is definitely when I'm in the store and when I'm like sharing the haul is definitely, um, is definitely, oh, should I, I don't know if I should say anything. <laughs> Guess what we get to do tomorrow? I'm so excited, but I don't want to jinx it, so I don't want to say anything. Oh my gosh, should I say? I'm going to put it out there because then that means it's going to happen and it's going to be a good fit. We are going to look at a potential flip house tomorrow. If you guys have been here, you know, long enough, we have flipped houses in the past. We had a we flipped a duplex that we owned and rented out for a while and then a coffee shop bought it and and Tore it down right after we got it done. The basement apartment thing. Oh my God. It was like the worst timing, but yet it worked out so well. It was like, are you kidding me? Could you have not contacted me before I put in new flooring and I did all these things? Um, so it has been so long. Well, everybody here knows like the market is so crazy. And so it's just kind of like been this waiting game and kind of patient. But I got a call this week and... Um, it has been confirmed that we are going to go look through it tomorrow. So just send good vibes. Just send good vibes. <clears throat> it's it's going to need some work. But like we haven't been through it at all yet. But um, I, we're just like Matt's like, okay, fingers crossed. So I hope so. Vermont, 8 to 12 inches of snow tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. Gabrielle actually has some friends for spring break that are going um, – or she knows somebody, maybe it's on her volleyball team. I can't remember, but they're going to Vermont for skiing. So everybody that's coming to Vermont for skiing for spring break, they will love that. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, but Vermont, I think that it, it just looks so pretty. Okay. I think that's it. If you have any other questions later, if you're watching it on replay, let me know. I will definitely be in um, checking later, but um, yeah, it's Friday. It's Friday. Happy weekend. Happy Friday. I will talk to you guys next week, I'm sure, at some point. Um, in stories, for sure. That's guaranteed. In stories, for sure, at some point throughout the week next week. <laughs>